So, just earlier today, I received a comment on one of my videos, and it was, it went like this. To be an INFP in this world is a curse. And you know, standing on this comment, you know, I couldn't help but feel a great sadness and a great pain. Because, first of all, how can this person assert that their personality type is cursed or that this world is cursed? How can this person claim that these struggles uh, that he is having is a result of being an INFP? How can he claim that this world is a curse to INFPs? I want to say, you know, take some personal responsibility. Look at yourself. Look at what you are doing. Look at who you are. And look at what role you play in the world, you know. I've made several videos talking about INFPs and the beauty and the possibilities of the INFP personality type. And I've talked about why INFPs are deeply needed in this world. But I can tell you, like, this kind of self-pity is... Um, far from what INFPs need and it's far from what you need in order to heal and in order to make peace with a sometimes difficult and challenging society you know because it's true uh, society is challenging you know things can be hard things can be tough they can be tough for all personality types and it is hard to truly say or pit your suffering against the suffering in other people and say that my suffering is more special or more profound or uh, that my struggles are more real. And it's even worse when you assume that there is a statistic here, like in a sense of oh, I am forced to endure constant suffering, I am cursed to unhappiness because I am an INFP. You know, there is something deeply damaging about this kind of an assumption, you know, the assumption that your problems in your life are a result of your personality type. When in fact, the way it should be thought is, I need to change, I need to grow, I need to learn by better understanding my personality type and the personal types of other people. Because you can use a personality psychology and there's great power in personality psychology when you use it correctly, but there's also great danger in it. It can cause harm. It's the same as with, you know, anything we do. Everything we do will have both benefits and consequences. We are blessed to be born on this world. And, you know, we're blessed to be born at a time where child mortality is um, at an all-time low, where people are more educated than ever, where people are richer than ever, where people have more wealth than ever, where people across the world have more possibilities than they ever had before. Yeah, there are people growing up in all over the world today that can make choices that their parents couldn't. Yeah. We are blessed with opportunities, chances, possibilities that our parents and our forefathers could never have dreamt of, you know. Uh, we have access to technology that was not possible 50 years ago. And in this week, in all of this, with all of, this things, all of this, these things happening, you know, we come and we say, oh, we are cursed. We are so cursed to live on this planet. We are so cursed to have all these things. So cursed to live in this society, you know. Uh, it's interesting because it's uh, it can only stem from one thing and that must be ignorance because uh, all you have to do is talk to your parents and I feel like few people really do this but what you should do is just talk to your parents, you know. Talk to them about their struggles growing up. What did they experience growing up? in terms of bullying, in terms of violence, in terms of assault, in terms of dangers, in terms of sickness, in terms of uh, loneliness. What kind of things did they experience, you know? Learn from the people that came before you and learn that you're not alone and that you are not the first to have ex encountered struggle and learn that 
despite all these things, these people were able to create something as beautiful. Yes. They were able to create something beautiful. They were able to create you. I mean, they were able to create life. They were able to create the home. They were able to create family. You know, they were able to achieve so many things. Now I know, like the challenges that we face today are challenges that we have never faced before, but they are challenges and we have always faced challenges. You know, in the past, a challenge was even living past the age of 20, you know, 300 years ago, 200 years ago even, five out of 10 children would grow up uh, and die before they even hit the age of 10, you know, because of disease, because of bacteria, because of, uh, famine, hunger, and all kinds of things, you know, lack of access to clean water, you know, like these simple things, you know. Uh, and uh, think about it, you know, like we can talk about the plight of being artists and we can wallow in, you know, like the fact that it's so difficult to uh, succeed in life and to go your own way. But, you know, we say this um, 400 years ago, we had the witch burnings where people who were different were burnt <laughs> for being different. You know, we had the Inquisition, we had uh, church mandated authoritarianism, we had uh, like the village tribalism, you know, where everyone in the village had to fit in and you could never do anything that the village would disapprove of or you'd risk being banished or losing your farm, you know. Uh, you had the dangers of war, being sent to war to fight for some king living far away that you'd never heard of, you know. Uh, we, we live in modern day society and yeah, we are faced with the possibilities and the dangers of, you know, climate change. But we're also faced with the possibilities of clean energy and of uh, new technology and of new possibilities, you know. So the way I see it, you know, if you're an INFP and if you're struggling, I know, I know it's, I know it's tough and I know it's hard and I share your hardship and I share your pain and... I can say my life has certainly not been easy and I've also been challenged. I've also, and I feel still today challenged and I still today struggle, you know, but humans have been struggling, you know, take strength in that, take strength in knowing that people have struggled before you, people are struggling everywhere around you, you know, you're not alone in what you feel and in what you struggle with. There are people out there that carry the same pain and worries and anxieties that you do. So go out and talk to people and recognize that you're not alone. You know, don't alienate yourself from people. Don't convince yourself that you're special or unique in your suffering. Don't convince yourself that nobody will understand you. You know, don't trick yourself that uh, your special suffering is special or more grandiose or more difficult and the suffering of people that come before you you know and if you ever feel like you know if there is such suffering and other people have people have this suffering you know what's the point you know if you get to this point you know if you start recognizing that people have suffering and people feel pain you know that people feel struggle you know if you recognize these things don't give in to that sense of uh, Oh, but if everyone struggles and life is suffering, you know, what's the point? You know, don't fall into that trap, you know, don't let the suffering and the struggles of people and everyday people, you know, across the world and across time and space and across history, human history, you know, don't let those things weigh you down or discount from the beauty of life because, you know, the purpose of life is not happiness. It's never the point. That was never the point. We were never meant to seek to live life in order to become happy. You know, that was not the goal. The goal was not to live a happy life because happiness is fleeting. You know, you can feel happiness and that's great. You can feel suffering and that's terrible. But feelings, they are information. They are emotional information and that's all they are. All they are is to remind you of your current condition, of your goals and of your lifestyle and of your present day situation. It's just information. And your goal, your responsibility is to live, to choose to live a life of meaning. Your choice is to pursue human excellence, to stand and face the world with strength, with courage, with boldness 
with bravery, with pride, you know, with trust in yourself, with confidence in your possibilities and in what you are capable of, you know. Your goal is to pursue a life of meaning and to stand above struggles as much as that is possible and to work together with other people to overcome problems that are beyond your individual ability. So, yeah, don't convince yourself that you're special in your suffering. You're not. Your suffering is shared and your happiness is shared and your dreams are shared. There are people out there that want to meet you, that want to talk to you, that want to connect with you. There are people out there that want to work together with you, that want to collaborate with you. There are people out there that need you. There is a world out there that needs you, you know. And yeah, go into that, not pursuing happiness or not trying to escape from sadness or not trying to uh, wallow in suffering, but go out trying to pursue what you think is truly meaningful.